Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about Micah Morris and something that I think is going to shock most of you because it certainly has shocked me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. We're here to report on YouTube golf and we're going to jump right into it. It's not been a crazy amount of things happening this week. Not a lot. I had a pretty good recap, I think, on a lot of the big videos, a lot of the things I was really excited about in my last upload. So we're going to get right into it today. A little bit of a shorter video. If you appreciate it, hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about Micah Morris. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break from today's video to see a shout out to the sponsor, my friends over at Fairway Fuel. Fairway Fuel is an incredible, better for you snack option on the golf course for you to replace your hot dogs, your sausage rolls, your bags of chips, things that are doing absolutely nothing for you and honestly can be hurting your golf game. These guys use all natural, simple ingredients to make a great tasting protein bar that's gonna be more complete than any other thing you're gonna be bringing on the golf course. It'll get you everything you need to shoot your best, to play your best. I love these bars. Check them out. You can now get 10 bars for just $20. Linked down below. Check them out. It's worth the shot. Thank you so much to Fairway Fuel for sponsoring today's video. The reason why I wanna talk about this is he's uploaded a couple videos recently that have just I've found enjoyment. Like he uploads videos that are a little different than everyone else. His last video was an instructional video about a golf lesson. He uploaded his DIY simulator video, which I don't know about you guys, but if you watch that, I just found it super intriguing. I enjoyed every second of watching that video. It felt different, it felt interesting. I feel like YouTube golf has become very saturated with match play content, with match play and challenge based content. And even the challenge based content, I would say less so because there's always kind of new exciting ways to do that. I think Micah, for example, his channel, the videos he has with the new six, the Brian Bros, Buster Jack and Grant, those videos do typically perform well. But for me personally, what I've enjoyed about Micah in the last few months is that he does upload videos that sort of no one else is uploading. His 18 holes in 18 minutes. He has different videos where he's playing in like tournaments and he's doing different, I mean, the simulator video, again, I just mentioned that, but that was just one that it really stood out to me. And I, the reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because there's been a shift in the YouTube golf landscape surrounding Micah Morris. I think as soon as he left Good Good, the narrative was very much, and again, we've talked about this before, whether he kind of self-caused this or not, but the narrative was he's leaving Good Good He's too good for them. He's gonna go right on, walk on to the Corn Ferry Tour and make his way to the PGA Tour and that's why he's doing it. And that was sort of the narrative a lot of people believed. Then it kind of shifted a little bit to like, maybe not, but like, I'm still gonna be like a YouTuber, I'm competing against all these other YouTubers, like I'm gonna be a big YouTuber, whatever, posting these matches, all of that. What transpired in the last six months to a year was a realization that this guy really, from my perspective, just didn't want the travel. He didn't want the constant like need to be filming and doing everything. Good Good is beyond a full-time job in my mind. Like they are traveling all the time. They're filming all the time. They put out videos so frequently and he just didn't want to be part of that. And that is very evident with his current upload schedule. The guy uploads maybe a video a week. Some weeks he has like two, but he uploads maybe a video a week. They're very chill. They're very casual. Like YouTube is an accessory to what he's doing. He's obviously grinding on the golf course, trying to be the best golfer he can, be the best pro golfer he can. He's made it very clear that that doesn't mean he thinks he's just going to walk onto the PGA Tour, but he wants to see how far he can take it. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because the narrative around him following that had a lot of hate attached to it. Like we've talked about this before. If you go look back at TaylorMade posts, Micah, when they first announced it, or really just a lot of posts that Micah made over the last 12 months, there was a lot of negativity in his comments. But I think since Micah's, I mean, coming on my show, I don't want to say we were the reason for this, but I think that time frame and what he said on my show and, and parts of it that I think he may have said elsewhere were really pivotal and shifting, pivotal and shifting this is that you know, this guy's just a guy. He's just out there. He's living his life. He's doing what he enjoys every day. He has the Airbnb, he has his family, he likes hunting, he has, you know, he's shooting his bow, he obviously likes playing golf, he obviously likes competing in golf, and he likes making YouTube videos. But those are all pillars of his life of semi-equal weight. And he's not putting, you know, YouTube golf or pro golf on this crazy high North Star pedestal that he's obsessing over. Like and that to me, he's, he's almost more relatable now. And I think if you go look, I mean, it did not, I think, I know, if you go look at his comments on the last three or four Instagram posts, they are overwhelmingly positive. I'm telling you, this guy, 90% of his comments six months ago were negative, they were haters. And I think those haters just took a walk. They realized that this is just a normal dude, a good dude, who's not trying to impress anyone, who's not trying to do anything crazy, and he's just being himself. And I think Micah's level of relatability has drastically increased. And 
The reason why I think this is so shocking to everyone is because we all thought very different things for where he was gonna be and what he was gonna be doing after leaving Good Good. But I think Micah has really impressed me with his level of just owning who he is, of being who he wants to be and living the life he wants to live and letting everything else kind of fall around it. And you know, it's cool. Like he had the opportunity to be part of Good Good to build up this channel that now is always gonna be there. But he also was able to take a lot of probably what he earned from that being part of Good Good and all that and invested into other business opportunities. And he has partnerships with brands and like obviously this Airbnb thing to the point where like he doesn't need to like push heavy grind YouTube videos just to make his income. Like I just think there's a balance that this guy has found in life that a lot of creators don't have, which, you know, necessarily isn't a positive or a negative, but I think for him is an overwhelming positive. And I think the shift and the view of the community on Micah has been overwhelmingly positive in the last few months. So I don't know, kind of a fluff piece for Micah Morris. Like I love the guy and I've been hard on him in the past with his YouTube channel because obviously we didn't understand what he was trying to do. And we, you know, obviously in this channel, we talk about YouTube golfers as if they're pro golfers. And if their performance starts to decline, we'll talk about it just like if a professional golfer's performance starts to decline, but also if their performance starts to increase or they start to do something really cool, I'm gonna give them their flowers. Like that is very deserved in Micah's world right now. I think he's very much impressed all of us and I'm super proud of the guy and I, I, I can tell he's happy and he's enjoying what he's doing. And at the end of the day, that's what matters most. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on him and everything he's doing in the comments below. But I wanted to make this video today. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you in the next one. Take it easy,